are our turkey breasts, and these are have been pounded down again, just like I did the chicken. And all I'm going to do is put them back into this seasoned flour. So let's do, oh, maybe three, because they're big. And there's the third one. And you close the bag up again, give them a good toss, and then you can take them out. Get that. Hey, there we go. That's a tough little zipper there. Take them out, shake off the excess, put them on a dish. Let me turn this down now, because that's really browned butter. And that's okay, because that's going to add some nice flavor. So I want to take them all out. There's the next one. Look at how beautiful those are. And we're going to put them right into the butter. They go right into the pan without doing the egg wash that we did and the breadcrumbs. So they go in just with seasoned flour. And we get these browned. So we're going to cook up some tomatoes. So in this pan here, I've got a little bit of olive oil. And I want to heat that up now, get that going. And we want to cut up our tomatoes just in half. Let's cut them in half, like so. Isn't that beautiful? Wonderful looking beef steaks. Just like that. Then, you want some seasoned flour. Now here's some flour that just has salt and pepper. And all I do is dip, dip the cut side of the tomato into the flour. You don't want too much. You just want to get a little crust on this. There's our third one. And there's our last one. And then these go right into our pan. So I'm going to take them over and put them upside down right in my olive oil. Okay, I can turn that one, turn that one, and turn this one. You see how nice and fast this is? We're going to let that cook. I'm going to give this just a little salt and a little bit of pepper. Meanwhile, back at the food processor, we are going to make a paste. Because I think this just makes a nice, a nice flavoring for those tomatoes. So here's a shallot. I'm just going to cut that up. It's a big one. I really don't need that much. So I'm going to put Put one shallot in a food processor. Here's a couple cloves of garlic. Oh, about a quarter of a cup of flat leaf parsley. And our top. You put your top on and you pulverize all that. Get it really, really fine. We have a bowl ready. So we take this little preparation that we made here, take that blade out, put that into a bowl, just like that. It smells wonderful, nice and fresh. And now we add some balsamic vinegar. Another wonderful product from Emilia Romagna. We add some extra virgin olive oil. Oh, I'd say about two tablespoons will do it. Give that a little stir. I think it needs just a little bit more olive oil. And that's ready to go for our tomatoes. And the last thing I want to add to that is a little bit of oregano. So maybe a half a teaspoon of oregano goes into that. All right, so you set that aside. Meanwhile, back at the turkey. This is browned. We've got to add some wine. And today I'm using a white wine from Emilia Romagna, Albana. And you put in a little white wine, raise the heat, and allow that wine to evaporate. So we want this to be 
kind of crusty, not quite there yet, so I want to turn that over, back over again. It takes a little while for them to cook down, so we have to leave them on the underside. So you want those to get crusty, and then, after they are, you take this mixture, I'm going to add it now, and you put it in the pan around and with the tomatoes. And this just makes a really beautiful sauce, and it becomes a great contorno, or something to go with the meat. After the turkey is cooked and the wine has reduced somewhat, well, then what I like to do is give it some shavings right over the top. Make your shavings beautiful right over the top of the turkey. This is Parmigiano Reggiano, another one of those wonderful products from Emilia Romagna, right over the top. Put the cover on and you allow this cheese to melt. So you get the cheese on, you put the cover on, you go back, you check these tomatoes, and when they are soft, and you'll notice they'll collapse a little bit, when they are soft, well, then dinner is ready. So there you have it.